What is up you guys, it is Bricklover Brad here and welcome to another episode of Bricklover Vlogs. This is my behind the scenes vlog series here on YouTube where I take you guys behind the scenes of my Lego life and document it here on video. So the first thing that I'm doing today is I need to film a couple Lego videos. Alright, so I just finished filming this week's episode of Ask Brick. It is Ask Brick episode number 80. I'm a little sick, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I didn't want to film two episodes today like I normally would just because my voice isn't sounding the best so I don't want to like four weeks time from now uh to have that bad video uploaded of me sick when i'm not really sick anymore but it was good to at least get the one episode filmed i also filmed an intro and an outro for the pick a brick unboxing video because apparently somehow when i filmed that video i never actually did that so when i was editing the footage on sunday night there was no intro and no outro which was really weird but now that at least those clips are filmed i can finish editing this video i might edit the episode of ask brick tonight but i also just want to kind of tidy up the leg room here and we'll see if i do either all right, it is Tuesday now. I am home from work, and last night, did I finish editing the video? Nope. Did I clean the Lego room? Nope. But that's okay, because that's what I'm going to tackle tonight. So because Ask Break is supposed to go up tomorrow, that was the first thing I did. So I completely edited this episode from start to finish, which I'm really happy with. And I just finished making the thumbnail and getting it uploaded to YouTube as well. And you guys, in case you're wondering, this chair, 10 out of 10. I edited the full video in it, and I'm so, so much comfier. This was a really great purchase from the last vlog. I also pretty much finished editing the pick a brick videos as well, but I'm going to finish editing those tomorrow night because I have to watch both of them back one more time and I don't want to sit here for the next half an hour rewatching all that footage. So I'm going to come back to that tomorrow and in the meantime, I should probably tidy up the leg room a bit just because it is a little messy in here and I should probably do some Lego set party note for Bricklink. In my last Bricklink vlog on the main channel, I pretty much said that I wasn't going to be doing Bricklink vlogs anymore because I didn't think people were enjoying them and I just didn't know if that was the content I wanted to make. But I got an overwhelmingly high number of comments on that video saying that people really enjoyed it and they actually do want to see me do more Bricklink vlogs. So if that's what the people want to see, that's what the people shall see. So tonight has been like the first nice night we've had in Toronto in the last several months it was like 20 some degrees it was really really sunny so i came home really late because i went to a patio with a friend but when i got home here i just started working on editing some videos and of course making lots of thumbnails i also built this set here which i'm really excited about this is the lego minecraft alex one which is just fun i wanted to do a little lego building and i thought this one would be a nice quick one to do now i have to find room for it on the brickhead shelf and another thing i did was also just go through these pick a brick cups i went through the cups earlier just to find out how many pieces were in each cup so i could get that video ready and then i just went through brooklyn and found the average price of the last six months of those sales for those parts because tomorrow night i'm going to film all four of those videos talking about whether or not i got value from those cups and spoiler alert I really did. So tonight I actually just finished building set number 31154, the forest animals, aka the red fox. So I built the fox model here because this one is so cool. I, I love this set. It's a bit smaller than I thought it might be, but like the parts usage is really good. I love all the detail in it. Like it is absolutely amazing. So super excited to have built this one up. Definitely a really good set of 2024 so far. I actually want to buy a second copy of this set because I really want to build the owl as well. It's not that expensive. It's 667 pieces. And I just think, I don't remember the last time we got a Lego Owl. So I definitely would. I, I'm not going to get it anytime soon, but definitely plan. I'm going to add this one back to the wishlist because I want to get a second copy so I can build that Owl up. Because it looks like it uses the majority of the pieces as well. Sometimes with greater three-in-one sets. I feel as though that sometimes the secondary and third models don't actually use a majority of the parts. Like the first one will use pretty much everything in the set. And then the other models seem to have a lot of parts left over. And that's why I don't love them. That's why I normally build the primary models so I don't waste those parts. But in this case, it does look like the owl would use a lot of the parts included in the set so that's why i'm a little less hesitant and i think it's so cool so that's why i want to buy it tonight i basically got full swing into parting out some lego sets so not only did i finish filming a bunch of videos about the pick a brick and also doing all the thumbnail photos and working on the thumbnail over here but i started parting out some sets as well for my bricklink store the first one i'm parting out is this one here this is a lego star wars one i believe it's called yoda's jedi yeah, yoda's jedi starfighter so i had five of them so i figured i'd part that one out first i've got all the pieces here i still have to put them away in the store obviously but i've got the figures all here here, labeled up and ready to go i'm taking a break right now just because it's been a long time sorting the a couple of brickhead stream with just too good has been awesome tonight but yeah it's getting a little late i'm a little tired but it has been a very productive evening here in the lego room even though i wasn't feeling that good today i didn't think i'd be able to do anything because i was in bed pretty much all day but 
tonight I kind of came around. What's up, you guys? It is Friday. It's like 1 a.m. now, so it's basically Saturday, but I'm here in the Lego room. I've been here for the last a couple hours or so, and I've just been partying out some Lego for my Brickling store. Last night, I showed you guys that I got started on partying out these Lego Star Wars Jedi Starfighter sets, which I got all of them parted out. All the pieces are actually down here. These are all the new ones to the store, so ones that I didn't have previously. And then I recently just got started partying out these Lego Ninjago sets, too. It is the Crystal King Temple 703 Lego pieces. I only had two copies of this one, unfortunately, so that's all I could part out, but I I just finished sorting all of the pieces here which is awesome so they're all sorted by color and ready to go and now i've like actually added them to the store as well so i just have to go through and sort out all the new parts and then put all the other ones away into the existing inventory so fun fact my parents are actually here visiting this weekend they're asleep so i'm probably driving them nuts if i'm talking a little too loud they may or may not be able to hear me i'm not too sure but i am that's the reason why i'm working so late here in the lego room is because this is actually my bedroom tonight this is like a little air mattress that we set up every time my family comes to visit they obviously stay in my room because I'm a good son and I sleep in here on the air mattress so I've got it here ready to go but I figured before I go to bed might as well make use of my Lego time they're older they go to bed a little early they're gonna kill me if I say that on camera but they go to they went to bed at like 11 and then it's only one now so I figured I had a few more hours in me at least to do some Lego set partying out I'm also catching up on MNR vlogs so it's a good use of my time all right you guys it is like 2 a.m. now I have still been partying out the sets tonight it's been going really well but honestly it is time for me to uh to go to bed and luckily i don't have very far to go it is sunday now time to start wrapping up and getting ready for the week my parents have now sadly gone home they've left me here all alone i didn't really get up to too much else this weekend obviously other than continue parting out some sets for the brickling store it is still a mess all in here in lego in fact the entire lego room is actually a huge mess right now because my bedroom is still all set up i have to now that they've officially left i have to tear down the air mattress and like take that to my actual room now i'll do that after i'm gonna go to the gym first and it's really funny because when i moved in my dad was like you should get like a spare bed in here or a like I have a pillow couch in my bedroom and he said I should put the pillow couch in here he goes then you could have a couch in your leg room plus make it a bed and I was like no I'm never gonna sleep in here I have a bedroom little did I know that I would sleep in here every time they come to visit but it's okay they bought me this air mattress guys it's like the most comfortable air mattress ever I know this is a Lego video but I highly highly recommend the double stuffed air mattresses because it actually feels like you're on a mattress. The other air mattress, when I used to sleep in my studio, because sometimes I wouldn't want to commute the 20 minutes home at like late at night, I used to just pull up the air mattress and sleep there, and it was so uncomfortable. I squeaked all night, and I had a terrible night's sleep, but in here, I actually have the perfect night's sleep. It's really worth it. Also, I'll have to take a look at this a little bit more later, but my dad actually picked up a Facebook Marketplace lot for me, so this is actually not from Marketplace. This is from my mom. She gifted me these for so I could build them up and, you know, make videos on them before Easter. This is the Spring Animal Playground. It is number 40709 172 pieces and this one here is the lego creator easter bunny with colorful eggs which are both really exciting because i don't have and then this is not relevant but my dad found this lot on facebook marketplace it was only 20 dollars. i'm not sure what sets are in here unfortunately it looks like a lot of the very brittle browns so some of it is broken and not maybe in the best shape but no idea what could be in here it also came with a bin and a base plate. This one's not a Lego base plate here, obviously, but there's some Mega Blocks. But like this one's a Lego base plate, so this is worth like five bucks alone of the twenty dollars. So I'll probably make a whole video on that later on and sort all of that stuff out. Um, and we'll figure that out. My mom also picked up these additional sets for me because I was texting her about the clearance that the Lego store had a few weeks ago at Superstore. Mainly I was texting her because I hoped that they had the botanical garden set there, and if they did, I wanted her to pick up two copies. Unfortunately, they didn't. But they did have some of these ones. I don't know where she got this one, but this is the new flamingo, which I'm really excited about so i can't wait to build that or not flamingo peacock so can't wait to build that one she also picked up this one here for me the seaboat rescue this was on sale for only 45 dollars, which is a really good price it's normally 100 so it was just a really good deal and i love the boats this one i'll probably sell or something like that because i already have it in my collection it was just too good of a deal to pass up and then this one here is also a really good deal I have no idea what this one costs but also excited about it because it was just so cheap and i don't have this set i thought it came with some cool pieces so honestly i will probably build that up and put it somewhere here in the lego room on display but before i allow myself to do do any more building i obviously need to clean up this room first because it's really really messy and finish sorting out the stuff for the bricklink so I just got back from the gym and I continued to work on the Bricklink store here a little bit this afternoon. And I needed some friends in a little bit and I was like, hey, I might as well film a video first. So I just went to the bathroom to try and fix my hair. And I realized my hair is beyond fixing. I'm gonna actually get a haircut tomorrow because it's just way too long 
for what I normally do, and I don't know what it, the front is doing. Like, it's, it's way, way, way too long. So instead of filming the video now, I'm leaving to meet my friends in, like, 30 minutes. So instead of filming that video now and rushing to get through it and, like, having crappy hair, I'm just going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to continue working on my Brickling store here, and I'll film that video tomorrow when I finally get a haircut. All right, you guys, so I finally got my haircut here. Happy with it. I went uh, this evening after work, got it here, all nicely trimmed up. It's, like, very puffy. For whatever reason like he really blow dried it and had it sticking way up when i left so i kind of flattened it down a little i know by the time i wash it tomorrow that it's going to be a lot flatter again but i am happy with how the haircut is after the haircut i kind of came home here and cleaned up the lego room a bit just try and put some things away especially because i was doing a lot of partying out so i put the air mattress and stuff away i did that yesterday um but just tidied up from that and moved a lot of the boxes and some of the parts back into the bricklink store room i actually even moved some of the sets off the floor here just to get them out of the way and I've started bringing some of the parts in here because I'll have to put them into the inventory but I'm not gonna work on that right now because like I said yesterday I wanted to come here after I got my hair cut and film some videos so I actually just filmed an 18 minute video about being a Lego collector or I guess more or less being a closeted Lego collector which was a lot of rambling but it was a very raw video not a lot of notes or structure on that one but I'm happy with how it turned out and now I think I'm gonna change shirts here and film another episode of Ask Brick for next week also I constantly am forgetting to do this but but I forget that when I'm filming with a lav mic, which is obviously this mic right here, I need to remember to move my chain because it's like, especially this one here, this size, it's like the perfect level that it hits right at the lav mic. So as I move around, the metal on the lav mic actually hits the chain and you can hear it on audio. So when I film, I do need to remember to move the chain because I don't want to screw everything up. Whew, just finished filming the episode of Asperk as well. I just filmed for like 45, probably almost an hour straight. I'm tired. Filming takes a lot out of me and I haven't even started editing the videos yet. Oh my gosh. One of the questions I just answered in the episode of Ask Brick was actually about Brickworld, which I'm really excited about. I forgot to show this on camera, but earlier today I actually registered for Brickworld. So I guess it's official now, and although I was always planning to go, it's official that I will be going to Brickworld Chicago 2024. I purchased the registration today. I also bought another brick badge, which I am excited about. Why did I buy one when I bought one last year? I don't know. It was only 12 bucks, and I thought, hey, might as well get it. I've recently renamed my channel obviously so all my other bricks say brick lover 18 so i figured this is probably the best chance i would have to get a bunch of bricks that say brick lover brad instead on it so i went ahead and purchased it but yes really excited to be going to brick world chicago again this year i want to now just be lazy and go watch tv or watch youtube or build a lego set but I think I'm going to get started on the edits for this video, or maybe not the edits, but at least import the footage into the computer so I can start the edit another day. I hate editing, so I feel like any excuse that I can have to delay the editing, I will use. I was trying to put my SD card back in it, so that's what I was doing. But yeah, any excuse that I can give myself to delay editing, I will use. I can't use the excuse of an uncomfortable chair anymore because this one is super duper comfortable, so i got to find a new excuse in the meantime. I've been partying sets out like a storm these last few days just to get everything into my store. You guys will have to check out my Brickling vlog on the main channel if you want to see a little bit more on that. But tonight, I'm going to tackle some of these Lego classic boxes. I have these sitting, waiting to be parted out for the last, like, year and a half, two years now. It's at 11011. There's 1,500 pieces in each. So that is 6,000 new parts that I'm about to add to the Brickling store. This is incredible and long overdue. At some point tonight, I also need to fix this light because it's going to fall one of these days. I've been pretty busy after work tonight, but I did come home and start working on the Brickling store a little bit more which I think has been really helpful just to kind of get a bunch of things done it's been long overdue there's not a lot to talk about in this vlog because I am making a whole separate Bricklink vlog but I just wanted to pop in and say that because I wanted you guys to know that something is still happening I was going to continue working on parting out some things for my Bricklink store now but I just remembered I've had some orders that I need to pack so let me go do that now as I just finished packing up the second order here, I realized, obviously, my business cards, I have changed the name and I haven't changed it to the Brick Lover Brad logo yet, but I realized my shipping labels here are also still the Brick Lover 18 and the Brick Lover 18 domain and at, so I don't have very many of these left. I'm just going to probably go through them because how many people really go through and look, I don't really know, but after that, when I go to print new ones, I will have to switch everything over. But this is still why I have the at Brick Lover 18 and the BrickLover18.com domain, just because some people might not know that, they'll look it up and they'll at least be directed to all my new accounts. And I've just finished packing up the three Bricklink orders that I had to do tonight. I had obviously the smallest one, the medium one, and a large one here in a box. So all of these are now ready to go. I'll set them on the shelf here and probably will take them to the post office sometime tomorrow. 
I'm really excited because tonight for the first time in years, I actually opened up my very first Brick Loot box. Brick Loot, of course, is the monthly subscription box for Brick fans of all ages, where you get a monthly subscription box delivered to you every single month. I obviously filmed a full unboxing of it here, which I'm very, very excited about. This month here was Brick to the Future, and that video will be going up on my YouTube channel before you guys are watching this, but cannot wait. Very, very excited I did that. I also filmed the continuation of the Good Food brand partnership that I'm doing because I've got to get that video edited and uploaded very soon. And I've continued to work on parting out some sets for my Brickling store. It has been going very, very well. I will say, honestly, a little bit time consuming, but that's okay because I haven't dedicated this much time to my Brickling store in a really long time, and it was long overdue, so absolutely no complaints there. Happy I did it. I don't know if i'll actually get to it in this vlog but hopefully soon i will get a chance to start sorting out this lot of used lego that my dad picked up for me recently i'd love to see what's inside see if any hidden gems or anything are in there i feel like the bricklink is a little bit of a priority first because it's making my room so messy and these are actually for the business but we'll have to wait and see what i'm feeling probably maybe tomorrow or friday so far this evening, I haven't got up to too much other than editing some videos, which has taken me a surprisingly a lot longer than I thought it would. Edited Asperg number 81 first, which has a lot of archive footage in it, so I had to go through a bunch of my older hard drives to try and find the footage I was looking for. And now here I've just finished editing both the short form and the long form video for the Brick Loot subscription box, which I opened up earlier this week. And that's actually where I'm going to wrap up today's vlog because I know I'm not going to be doing anything more exciting tonight. I pretty much wrapped up a lot of the projects I've been working on this week, obviously with the exception of the set parting out. But I don't really know what I'm going to get up to this weekend and I don't want to start anything new in this vlog, especially because the next few weeks are going to be very, very busy with Easter. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today to this episode of Brick Lover Vlogs. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys here in two weeks for the next vlog.